Hare Krishna. Every trial is a teacher. So, in this world, we often go through various trials and troubles. And when we face such trials and troubles, one of the, what makes a trial very trying is when it seems pointless. When it seems as if that trial is causing us trouble without serving any purpose. So, for example, if a warrior is fight, if soldier fights on a war, war field and gets wounded, then that soldier is revo uh, that soldier becomes a hero. Even if that person soldier dies, that soldier still becomes a martyr. But if that soldier just meets with an accident while going to a war field and then dies in that accident, then that seems so pointless. So uh, the point here is that we uh, we feel when suffer when problems and troubles don't serve any purpose, then we feel them as especially agonizing, mortifying, exasperating. But when they serve some purpose, uh, then we are willing to accept them. So the point is, the when we have a Krishna-centered vision of life, the we understand that every trial becomes a teacher. The Bhagavad Gita, 18.61 says, Ishwara Sarva Bhutana, Riddesha Arjuna Tishthati, Brahmayan Sarva Bhutani, Yantra Rudhani Mayayam, Ishwara Sarva Bhutana, says that for all living beings, Riddesha Arjuna Tishthati that actually Krishna is situated in the heart of all living beings and Brahmayan Sarva Bhutani for all living beings wherever they are wandering Yantra Rudhani Mayaya Krishna is seated on the machine of material nature and takes care of them so this is the speciality of Krishna that he takes care of all living beings and he guides them ultimately. He is directing the wanderings of all living beings. So now, what is the ultimate point of it all? So if Krishna is guiding the wanderings of all living beings, what is, it, what is the point of it all? The point is to further our spiritual growth. So every trial that we go through, it can stimulate our growth in multiple ways. At the very least, it can inspire us with the confidence that no matter what problems we face, by turning towards Krishna, by taking shelter in Krishna, we can keep growing in our spiritual life. And even from a material point of view, it is by going through tough situations that people grow. It is by breaking against the, by force, by pushing against the nest, um, against the egg that the bird that is inside the egg gets uh, gets strong wings or gets a sturdy supple body and then get, is able to fly after emerging from the head from the shell so similarly every trial is an opportunity to further our inner growth and the essence of our inner growth is not just a increase in our willpower, is not just an increase in our determination, is not just an increase in our realization of how much ability we have. These are parts of growth, but the uh, central propellant of inner growth is that, <coughs> is the realization that with Krishna we can deal with any situation. So, Machitta Sarvadurgani Matrasada Tarishasi. That if we turn towards Krishna, then by taking shelter of Him, we can deal with any and every situation. This understanding is what enables us to rise above worldly adversities 
and grow through them and whether there is adversity or there is a portion at the material level this realization will always stand us in good stead that Krishna is always with me and by taking shelter of him I can face any situation come what me so with this vision of a Krishna centered of a Krishna driven cosmos then we can actually see every trial as a teacher meant to drive home to us the ultimate reality and potency of Krishna's love for us and the shelter that we can gain in us and the strength for growth that we can gain by connecting with him. Thank you. Hare.